You do not simply belong to yourself. You are not simply your own possession to torture and mistreat. This is partly because your being is inexorably tied up with that of others and your mistreatment of yourself can have catastrophic consequences for others. This is most clearly evident perhaps in the aftermath of suicide when those left behind are often both bereft and traumatized. What I do unto me, I do unto you. We are all connected. What I do unto me, I do unto you. The way I treat myself is not only a reflection of how I treat the world, but actually how I treat the world. See, it's not... It's, it's, it's like mistreating yourself is orientating not just yourself towards hell, but your surroundings, your peer group, your family, your friends. We think we're all like... Like, we all individual, we all are only able to see from our consciousness and our eyes. But there are nearly 8 billion other people seeing the a version of what you're seeing. The amount of people we interact in our lifetime and have some small influence on is monument. It's like it's monumental. If everyone was able to just orient themselves towards a little more good, towards heaven, then we, we could really have a monumental impact on, on a civilization, right? If we, just if we just treat ourselves a little better, then we treat everything else around us better.